Strelux and Brahman Baron Heck Gunderson. Moving on. Listeners have been unable to pick up radio broadcasts from Black Mountain recently. Most are calling the static quote a welcome improvement. This program was brought to you by Gamora. Gamora. It'll be our secret. I'm really going to miss Radio New Vegas. It has been a long run. And pretty sadly, it has all come to an end. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome to the finale of Fallout New Vegas. Veronica, what the hell are you doing? You, you know you're supposed to walk around the table, right? Anyways, last time we finished up Lonesome Road, we helped protect Vegas from Ulysses' wrath after he wanted to destroy our home after we technically and inadvertently destroyed his. But we helped him see the error of his ways, and now he takes up his job of watching over the Divide. Got my nice little table of memorabilia from all our adventures. We got science on top of the computer from Big Mountain. Got Ulysses Duster from, well, Ulysses. Got a gold bar from the Sierra Madre. And we got some scripture from Daniel from the Zion National Park. It has been a long run, a long, 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 long three years running of this project. And to be honest, I'm kind of sad to see it end. So, before we head off to Hoover Dam to help with the final defense, who am I going to be taking with me to, you know, help fight? Well, I was thinking I was going to use my original team of Veronica and Eddie, but... I kept thinking about it, and she is just way too overpowered uh, to go into it. Honestly, the Veronica Eddie power duo is one of the most overpowered uh, team combinations you can have. So I thought, you know what? Let's bring someone with us who is um, a lot more subdued. Of course, we're gonna have to bring my buddy Eddie because why not? Not Lily. I hope you're not thinking about rushing off to that big damn pumpkin. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a big damn pumpkin. I'm sure it's probably dangerous. But I want to talk to you, Eddie. We will be taking Eddie with us. I just... He, he's been through a lot. He, Even though he has little to no dialogue in this game, the only dialogue that comes from his beep boops and past recordings, he has so much personality to him. And you know what? I love my floating little eyeball, buddy. But our other partner for us today, if I could find her... What's up? Hey, Arcade. Where the hell is she? Is she getting a snack or something? Ah, there she is. Our other partner we're going to take to Hoover Dam with us is Cass, of course. Well, now, look what rolled in. What, you getting lonely out Incredibly there? Incredibly lonely. I came from a very lonesome road. I could use a traveling partner again. Can't be any worse than here. Uh, you'd say that, but going to a war zone front lines probably could be a little bit worse than just sitting around in a uh, uh, nice, lovely little penthouse hotel room. I wish this place had music, though, but all the radios are broken. But yes, this is going to be my dream team for the final battle of Hoover Dam. Got our nice little long-distance laser buddy. We got ourselves our spitfire of a sharpshooter cast. I think we're ready to go. Well, we finally made it. Like I said before, it has been a very long journey. But it's time to see this journey seen to the end. And yes, I just did say that twice in a row. I don't care. We're at the very end. I'm excited. Also kind of anxious and kind of nervous. Colonel Moore. to keep the general waiting. You are committing to fight with the NCR for the Battle of Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. If there's anything you want to do before you enter the battle, do it now, before you cross the point of no return. Let's do this. Well, you took your sweet-ass time coming here. Let's get down to brass tacks. We need to get this thing moving if we want to keep the element a surprise. General, did you really have to have me march all the way across this damn dam? Just to meet you. I mean, couldn't you have sent like a representative or like a video feed or something like that? Because I got places to do and or places to go and people to blow up. 
All right. What's this all about? You've done some great work for us up to this point, and we're hoping to use your unique abilities to aid us once again. Thanks to the task my subordinates have delegated to you, the NCR now has a unique opportunity. And what opportunity would that be? We now have a chance to take the fight to those bastards on their home turf. I'm in the beginning stages of planning out an assault on the fort. I've made calls to our allies, and they're on their way to our position. Once our forces are in place and garrison here, we'll begin our assault. I'm looking forward to that. Sir, I don't know what happened. A bunch of legionnaires just stormed into the power station. Into the power station? How is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some talk oh, God. entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind of base on the eastern bank. Okay, listen here. Unless we can get some additional support, I'm gonna need you to help me resolve this situation. You need to make your way to this camp they have on the eastern bank and take out the Legate. That should hamstring this attack. Uh, can you offer any additional support? Like I said earlier, we have some supplemental forces on the way, but this wasn't the situation I was expecting. So I can only offer what is on hand. Thanks for your support. I'll make sure the NCR emergency radio is up and running. Go kill those bastards. I found myself in worse situations. I think we can manage. All the music isn't playing. Did something happen, or is it just a wrong time of day? Good gracious. The Legion is using the intake tunnels to storm their way into the dam. Someone has to stop them. All right, well, what can I do to help? Hmm. I think that you should be able to divert the flow of the water into the generator turbines. That would grind them up like a hamburger. The computer to activate it is just ahead, but you may need to go outside to activate the manual override. That system hasn't been used in a while. All right, I can handle them. No problem. Okay. Be careful out there. All right, just want to check something real quick. Audio-wise... Oh, the music's gone for some reason. I don't know why that happened. All right, first things first. Let's bring up the radio and get that emergency broadcast... Well, broadcasting. There it is. Sounds like the party's already started. Oh shit. You know what? I probably should be outfitted better before we jump right into this battle. I don't think this duster and a hat is gonna be much of the way of protection. Yeah, use those words. What of it? Cass, you can probably use some armor as well. So I'm gonna give you the Desert Ranger combat armor. There. Fit you like a glove. Oh, hello. It might. Yeah, you might not want to have walked right into the middle of that firefight. Just saying. Oh, uh, what would you guys do without me? All these people alive. And hey, our Brotherhood friends are here. They would only show up, of course, if you actually broker peace between them and the NCR. And of course, these guys are actually using uh, marksman carbines instead of the standard uh, uh, service rifles. So at least they upgraded their weapons a little bit. Now, something I never got with the Brotherhood troopers here is the fact that they're wearing T-45 power armor instead of the T-51s that you see the ones out in the Hidden Valley using. Like, I never understood why they used that one instead of, you know, their better versions. Why they just sent these, like, uh, lesser power troopers to help us. You think with a battle that would decide the Mojave, they want to send the best and brightest to help defend everyone. Ow, my face, my beautiful face. Hopefully Mike's still alive. Location Bravo, Bravo, Charlie. The doctor is coming. Oh well, I've heard Dr. Tennant is actually a very nice doctor. People usually love him. Game over, man. Game over. Oh, stop panicking, you'll be fine. Need to get to a terminal. He said it was right outside the door, so I think that it is up here. It should be this terminal that is right next, not next to those Legion boys that are walking right down over me like they think they want to deal with me with some serious business. Ow! 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 Boom! Thank you, 
ready? I'll got my feet. There were so many marksman carbines being shot, I have no idea what was going on. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing anything up here. Maybe it was down the terminal down here. Why is there just a random box on the shelf? From unit 42. Take a look at our quest line. Very good. The Legion attacking over Dan. The lake is this camp must be destroyed, so protect. Wait, so what? To protect the dam. Okay. Wait, where's the indicator showing me? Over dam lower level. All right. I mean, that works. Snipers in position. Me. Repeat. Snipers in position. No, it shouldn't tell me to go to Hoover Dam lower level. It should be telling me to go down this way. I don't know why the indicators tell me to go there. Unit 16 and defense point Sigma Delta. All right. Uh, let me grab some stim packs real quick because that was a pretty nasty firefight. I might as well drink some water as well. Got him that time. Hey, you all right? I'm really surprised Colonel Moore accepted the Brotherhood's help. I heard she lost a lot of men in war with them back west. Oh, I'm surprised that the Brotherhood Holy agreed shit. to help. Relay your current position and Come on, go down. Thank you. No, why are the Centurions not wearing helmets? You think having their heads exposed in a, you know, big firefight like this probably wasn't the smartest idea. Oh, I see you sneaking down those stairs. I don't think I know. <laughs> I can tell he was having a bad day. Alright, let's do this. That's not good. We're close to the edge of the dam. Slug, magazine, bean bag. Looking uh, Bravo, Bravo, Charlie. I guess we'll just use the standard uh, shot. Seriously? Alright, you know what? You guys, you can deal with them. You're rangers. You should be able to handle anything. Although I kind of wish that we had some veterans down here. Always just a one trooper just out in the middle of nowhere when all of a sudden the legion just start pouring out of the walls. I can tell they're literally coming out of the walls here. Come on. All units be aware we are receiving help from a non-NCR military asset. Oh, what the hell is this? accidentally hit a couple of NCR troopers, they don't all, all aggro on you because technically for this battle, you're helping them. Okay, I don't know why he was just following all the way to the wall over there. Fantastic! Sneaky bastard, get back here! 
Oh no, a Legion sniper got fantastic. Whatever shall we do? The Mojave may be doomed, gentlemen. Just know that you fought strong and you fought with honor. I've been waiting so long to do that. Ow, my pretty face. Okay, I think you got him, boys. Alright. We need to get up topside. Help out the troops and launch the attack on the Legion's camp. Thankfully, we finally made it. Hopefully, Colonel Moore got out because be I don't think she's getting out there anytime soon. Got no special ammo for that. Ow, 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 ow! Alright, ten of us have the heavy artillery. Gas? You alright? Um... Do we need to take you to see Dr. Tenet? Cause... Your rifle... I don't think that's how you're supposed to holster your rifle, girl. Unit 23, await reinforcement from Unit 42. Alright. I think that's enough radio chatter for now. Got it. This was how bad the inside of the dam was. I wonder how the visitor center looks. Oh, it's entirely quiet here. You know, I could have used your because help down there, you know. Caesar die. What an asshole. Yeah, the only assholes are the two heavy troopers who are not helping their fellow troopers help secure the dam. Just stand around lounging inside the visitor center while all of us decide to go die down in the generator area. Now, had we actually gotten the Great Cons to help us uh, defend the dam, this is actually where we would have met them. Although, it's best not to ask them to help defend the dam because, well, they suck. They are absolutely horrible in this mission. They die almost instantly in any place where I've gone through where I've decided to recruit them to help. They're, they're just absolutely horrible. I think the, the most they do is they have... I think they have the same type of weapon that is Little Devil. I forget the, mob, the type of pistol it has. They have that, and I think they carry 10mm submachine guns, or maybe it was uh, the other submachine guns. Basically, they're very lightly armored, and they are not strong at all. Do that? I can't tell. I think we got a couple snipers up there, so they'll provide a little fire support. Although I kind of wish we had some heavy artillery coming in anytime soon. And not an active guy that freezes the world with me. Help! finally made it. I had to use my special time powers once again to reset the universe. Hopefully for the last time. Need to make the push across the top of the dam. We need to hit the Legion where it hurts and we need to hit them there now. All this artillery sound is pretty spooky. I don't know why I say it's pretty spooky. It's pretty intense. More like it. As you see, there's some MCR snipers up there. right in the face. Nice shot, Cap. Okay, 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 okay. Listen here, guys. I'm gonna need you to stop shooting me in the face. Oh god, everything's blue now! You're no match for this machine. 
This machine shall destroy everything in its path. Everyone's still alive? Oh, hey, we got some air support coming in. Ice drifting. Well, hopefully the dam still holds up from that firebomb. Thanks for the help, guys. Really appreciate it. Oh, hi. There, completely useless now. Just like most legionaries are. I'm talking about your assassins. You never seem to learn their lesson. There we go. Probably grab some ammo. Maybe you guys got them pet nope, you got healing powder. Whew. Well, nice little calm before the storm hits. Got ourselves some followers first aid, which is a nice little donation the followers get if you actually get them to help support the NCR. Had they not supported them, then I don't believe that these first aid kits are actually here and it's just a completely empty table. Or maybe they have first aid kits and they're just empty. A seat. I wish I could take a break though. Or at least get rid of this blue light effect. Can't look badass with this kind of thing going on. It's like a bunker or something I could take a nap in or whatever. Uh, all lot box or it's all empty. Anything inside these? Some magnum rounds, I guess. Oh yes, metal armor that is definitely what I need in the final battle. Doing all right, Cass? Still can't wait to this location. All right, whatever. Guess we're just gonna have to go very blue. Oh wait, hey campers, lights out. Hey campers, the roughing and bedroll kit is only approved for the great outdoors, so step outside and give her a try. All right, fine. We'll step outside then. We'll have a sleep right out here on the front lines. I'll, I'll nuzzle up right over to these dead bodies. Of course, I can't wait this location. Alright, fine. We'll just have to wait for the effect to go away on its own. I didn't actually mean to drink the quantum. Or the quartz, or whatever, whichever one it was, I think it was quantum. Hopefully the Legion puts up less of a fight now that they've completely been bombed into oblivion. Almost said blommed for a second there. There we go. Much Alpha better. Squad reporting in. Thanks for the support back there. We've been assigned to ensure you make it to the legacy. How can we be of assistance? Well, you could probably be of assistance if you turned on your helmet's radio. Alright, so we got a bit of a choice here. I need some snipers to cover, cover my advance, which would put a small group of the veteran rangers up on that tower above the little safe house that we were just in. Uh, have your unit follow me and we'll assault them head on. We'll basically just have them follow behind you and they'll just provide fire support. <clears throat> I can manage this without your assistance. Basically saying, you guys get lost, I don't need you, and you're going to have to go at this alone. Or, if you have a speech of 85, you have the superior firepower. You can overwhelm them, and if you push the advance on them, which means they will basically lead the way. The way. You're in charge of this operation. That sounds like a suicide mission, but all orders are to take commands from you. Unit, let's move out. Let's get going. Come on, you guys are badasses. All four of you with your shotguns and 
you with your rush gun. I guess you wanted to be the odd man out. I, although, I really wish we could use some more reinforcements right about now. Any reinforcements right about now could be a godsend for us. There we go. <laughs> Just seeing his rifle go flying back and knock him right in the head as he goes down it was pretty funny. Ah, uh, yes, the Enclave teleportation technology. I was wondering when you guys would work on it. So, probably also drop a couple super stamp decks into me. Hey, Kruger, maybe you want to wake up. I know you're old, but you're not that old yet. Uh, okay. I mean, just stand there. But it's, yes, the remnants have finally shown up, and they're providing a little bit of fire support for us. We got uh, Orion, who is very adamantly walking towards the Rangers. I hope he's not going over there to start some shit. Uh, we got Doc Henry, for some reason, in an enclave scientist suit. I don't know why he's wearing that on front lines, but whatever. We got Johnson, who is very annoying because he will actually follow you, and if I want something to happen, then he better know what's good for him and stay on this dam. Yeah, I'm looking at you. And we got Kruger, who I don't fault as much as I would Henry, because technically he's an officer, so wearing his officer's uniform on the front lines makes sense. But they'll be here to provide some fire support, you know, if they actually follow me. Okay, both Henry and uh, Johnson are. I'm guessing Kruger is staying behind to make sure Moreno doesn't start shit with the Rangers back there. Oh, I got some armor piercing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Moreno, you bastard! Get over here and help us! Alright, Henry's still alive. It's actually really easy for both Kruger and Henry to die in this mission because they don't have a whole lot of armor on them. And yeah, if a legionnaire comes up at them with either like a thermatic lance, a uh, shotgun, a super sledge or whatever, they're basically dead. Not really much you can do about it. Hit you in the head and we'll hit you in the head as well. Good old fashioned all American. Alright, guys, come on, we gotta keep pushing. We're almost to the finish line. Actually, we are pretty much at the finish line. Ah, I see the Rangers have finally decided to show up, and there's Johnson. Oh, that's just the dog down there. What the hell?! Uh... My god, the Legion! They sabotaged the bridge in an attempt to thwart my attack! They're getting truly desperate, I swear! Too bad it was all for nothing! Uh, he bows at my superior firepower! What was he, like a samurai and he was bowing before a superior enemy or something? Before a great battle? Uh, look at the Centurion boy! He is the most powerful boy on this entire battlefield. Can I please get out of here, please? Um, hello? Yes, he's a very good boy. And now he's going to be a very dead boy. Help! Alright, we're back. The Legion must be truly desperate to stop all of time and space in a vain attempt to try and thwart my advances at them. They tried to sabotage the bridge, they tried to completely destroy all of reality. 
but nothing will stop me from seeing this battle through to the end. Fall back. Yeah, you better fall back. Too bad it'll be nothing for you! Can't believe I missed that one. Not that one. Now who's gonna be a good boy and go lay down? Alright, let's get into the Lakets camp before even more madness tries to stop me. Hello! Goodbye. Oh, sorry Johnson. Oh, nice shot, Daddy. So in the camp, there's a couple snipers, basically just Prime Legionaries and pr uh, Praetorian Guards. Nothing really too much of a challenge for you at this point. I guess the biggest threat would be the Praetorians with their power fists and all, but you gotta let them actually get up to you in punching distance. Oh, well, we finally made it, guys. Johnson, I don't know why you're here. Hey, at least you're still in good condition from that shot to the back of the head. Sorry! Uh, there's a couple snipers up in those little towers over there. They're not really the easiest targets to hit, honestly. If you have, like, explosive rounds, then it'd be a bit easier, but they don't really seem to bother you that much. Uh, plus, the distance for them, it's kind of hard to see them at times because of, you know, draw distance and all. Oh, wait. I think I... I'm sniping around over there. Someone's looking to cash their chips early. All right, everyone. We've made it to the Leggett's camp. Come on, you gotta know better than that. Cass, where are you? Sitting tight. Eddie, I need you to stay behind and guard the door. Make sure no reinforcements get here, unless it's our reinforcements, in which case, just let them through. I'll handle this. You know what? They say we got a pretty good weapon to use. Oh, poor J Oh my god, Johnson! Alright, fine. You wanna die that badly? I can happily applaud you. You know, if I can actually hit you. Alright. Good old fashioned All American! To the rescue! Hey, some reinforcements finally showed up. I you guys to finally get here. Uh, wait. Uh, guys, where are you going? Uh, guys? Oh. of the bear, yet you do not wear it as a soldier of the West wears it. No, because I'm actually competent. If you think you've got any chances of taking Hoover Dam, you're wrong. Many graves in the East are filled with those who said as much, with braver words, not backed by strength. It is Kaiser's will this gate to the West bear the flag of the Legion. Kaiser's will shall be done. Caesar's giving you orders from beyond the grave, then? Kaisar's will is the will of the Legion and the West. All beneath the flag of the Great Bear exist to test the strength of the Legion. The West shall fall as the East fell, and all the tribes that stretch to the setting sun shall bear the mark of the Legion. Oh, well, maybe you're willing to listen to reason, then. 
I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. Persist and learn what Graham learned at the dam and Boulder City. You dare speak that name, comparing him to any man of Kaiser will only earn you a slow death. You think me some lesser man, some other legate? I am the first of the Legion, and this gate to the west shall be ours this day. The NCR has studied you as they did Graham, and the trap is ready for you. Huh. You believe your own words, even if I do not. Perhaps NCR has the strength of a cornered animal. It will not be enough to hold this place. They know nothing of my tactics, or the strength of my forces. They will learn. Position of your veterans using the dam's intake towers, all was ex all as expected. We did take the towers easier than expected. I cannot believe even the Republic would overlook such an opening in their defenses. Yet we are at the throat of the Great Bear. Victory is at hand. Huh. Graham did not smell the C4 until he entered Boulder. He only smelled victory. You play on my instincts, yet your intention in this. You have nothing to gain by telling me of this trap. Unless you seek to goad me into a retreat, leaving the battlefield and leaving my honor here to be trampled underfoot by Republic cowards. There are those in the Legion that would see you fall like as Graham did. Of course, did. and I guard myself from such acts of cowardice and jealousy. You claim that word of my coming has been given to the West so that I might die here, even as I take the dam. Telling me this does not benefit you at all. You gamble with your words, and your coin is lacking. Well... When your own must ally with the Le West in order to remove you, such treachery must be answered. You speak with conviction, and more importantly, with honor. And we secured a foothold on the dam, easily as you have said. Graham's overconfidence forever branded him with fire. I will not follow his trail of fire into the depths of the Grand Canyon. The Republic shall keep their old world gate this day. I shall return east. When I return, I shall have all the armies of the Legion with me. The West will be waiting. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me he would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again in CR, I shall wait for you on the battlefield. Oh, the battle's been decided, and not a single drop of blood has been made. Nope, not a single drop of blood. Just ignore the dead bodies back there, and over there, and a little bit over there to the side. But yes, you can actually bypass the boss fights with just using your words. But you know what? That's not a satisfactory conclusion to this project. And who are you to come? If you think you have any chance of taking Hoover Dam, well then, I'm sorry to say, but you're wrong. Many graves in the East are filled with those who said as much, with braver words, not backed by strength. It is Kaiser's will, this gate to the West bear the flag of the Legion. Kaiser's will shall... The battle is decided. That is why I am here. So you seek quarter? Terms of surrender? Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. Save your speeches. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. Move forward? 
The Legion spent years trying to take Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam has never seen the mass strength of the East. Only legates such as Graham, who deserve the fire Kaisar blessed him with. Now I am here, and make markers of your people as the Legion carves its way west. And then, what of the East? You speak in circles. What of the East? I am the East, and I will prove it this day. If you need all of the East to crush the West, then... The victory here shall be swift. Our forces shall take the dam, secure it, then build a road west on the bodies of the NCR. The East will hold. Once across the Colorado, nothing to rival Hoover Dam remains. It's not the strength of the West that will slow you. It's their weakness. Your weakness? You seek to thwart me by claiming the Legion is too strong for you? NCR's weakness is its size. It'll take your entire army to hold the West. That does not mean we would not succeed. Eventually. But moving your whole army West means losing the East. You can't hold both. The East was a hard-fought campaign. Even now, Kaisar drew too much of the Legion's blood needed there for... this. Hoover Dam is but a place. I will not have it be the gravestone of the Legion, whether quickly, or as you describe, slowly, by attrition. So, you'll retreat? Retreat? Retreat. I was a fool to listen to you. You know nothing of who I am. Your words have done nothing but delay the inevitable. Now. See what my hounds and my blade will bring to you. Fine. But if you're such a terror of the East, call off your dogs and face me, one on one. I shall make a cape of your skin, and your skull. It shall sit by my side, mute, watching as my armies march west. I shall honor your last words, and face you alone as you request. No man will say I refused your challenge. Die. How about you? East versus West. One last fight. Ow. trophy. You know what? See if I can get a nice clean cut. Right, just move this useless junk out of the way. Uh, the NCR always said take their head as a proof of a kill. I'll just prop you down right there. Don't you go rolling away from me now. You know what? I'll wear your helmet. As a nice little... Uh, war trophy to recognize you as an equal opponent. Oh God, no, Johnson! Johnson, you fool! You old fool! Why'd you have to go there? Why couldn't you have just stayed at the door? I could have handled it myself. Sorry, old man. Hopefully, you're in a better place now, away from all this fighting. But I'm not going to leave you to die here. We're going to take you with us. At least, we'll set you up in a nice little spot right, right over here.
Come on. Put his helmet right here. You were a good companion for the short time we had you. Hopefully now those old bones finally got the rest they deserve. As for you, on the other hand, you're coming with me. Hopefully this gives me a nice fat promotion with the NCR. Maybe they'll finally learn to shape up and stop relying on me so much. Eddie? Oops. Nope. Didn't mean to talk to you, buddy. Follow protocol. Alright. Don't, don't you try and roll away from me. You're not getting away that easily. So much for the great terror of the East. Huh. Let's roll out. Hey guys, nice of you to finally show up. Look what I found. Ooh. The great terror of the east. Oh god, it's that Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the damn. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. It was my duty, General. I was glad I you know what? I couldn't have done it alone, and I appreciate the assist along the way. Least we could do. And seeing those shits of Caesar kicking dirt as they ran did my heart good, let me tell you. Might see some recruitment number rise, build some morale out in the Mojave long enough for the NCR to find its feet again. All due to you. Again, you have my thanks. And all the West, too. Once they pass it over the radio. After signing the right release forms. Of course. Paperwork. It always comes back to the paperwork. So, what happens now? We clean up, take prisoners, watch the East for any more trouble from the Legion. Though I think they're still running, according to our scouts. After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles and how the Mojave looks now without Caesar coming for its throat. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. And if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. Well, I mean, I own it, so technically I already did earn it, but I see what you're coming from. Uh, you know what? I've had my fill of Vegas. Maybe traveling is in order. Can't keep the courier spirit down, eh? Fair enough. We'll clean up here. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run, but I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. Oh, by the way, I got a head for you. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The new California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The courier, fair and even-handed in his dealings throughout the wasteland, was honored by the NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. Tabitha and Rhonda went east, through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. Invigorated by his travels with the courier, Raul once more took up his guns in memory of his lost Rafael. Soon after, the Mojave was filled with tales of the ghost vaquero who hunts down those who play on the wheel. With the help of the gunrunners, the boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the boomers began wandering out into the wasteland, while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. The Brotherhood and the NCR in the Mojave Wasteland declared an official truce, despite continued hostilities between the two in the West. As per their agreement, the NCR handed over all suits of salvaged power armor, 
And in return, the Brotherhood helped patrol I-15 and Highway 95. The peace with NCR served to ease Veronica's worries about the Brotherhood's immediate future. Still, a distance had arisen between her and her fellow members that would never be bridged. She began secluding herself in crumbling libraries of the old world, learning of promising technologies she knew the Brotherhood would never adopt. Their leaders destroyed by the Courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the NCR's victory at the dam, in part thanks to follower medical support, NCR allowed the followers to care for refugees as they see fit. Old Mormon Fort expanded its services and was able to aid more people, becoming a refuge for the less fortunate citizens of New Vegas. Arcade had hoped that Freeside would be able to remain independent of NCR rule. But he was glad that Caesar's Legion had been stopped at Hoover Dam. He tended to the sick in Freeside for a while longer, then returned to NCR territory to become a teacher to the followers there. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland. But with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. In the years following the destruction of Cassidy Caravans, NCR used evidence of the plot to blackmail the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. NCR enacted strict trade laws with little resistance, strengthening their supply lines and their position in the Mojave. Cass survived to see the NCR flag flying proud over Hoover Dam and thought for a moment, this is what a hero must feel like. She was about to tell the courier not to get too proud of himself. Then she figured, he knew that already. That night, Cass kicked in the door of his room to celebrate, only to find the man on the bed was an NCR soldier whose barracks had been destroyed. He was cute though, so after having her way with him, she got the hell out, leaving an empty whiskey bottle as a note. As she walked along the dam in the night, she felt drunk, content, and happy to be alive. Which to her, was the whole point of it all. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. It took more time than anticipated for a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia to be found. But in the end, it was beneficial to Jacobstown. The presence of the Nightkin leader, Keen, persuaded Nightkin from across the wasteland to make the journey to the town. Jacobstown prospered, becoming known as a fair, if somewhat intimidating, place for a trader to do business. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west seeking the remnants of our past. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Shaped up by the courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Gall. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, Many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Looking for a place where he could be of some use. 
Boone found himself re-enlisting with his old unit. Though his regrets remained in his thoughts, they coalesced into a purpose, and Boone embraced it. After the Vault 19 Powder Gang surrendered to the NCR, they were reincorporated into the correctional system. The NCR did increase their sentences, and they aren't about to take off time for good behavior. After Hoover Dam, NCR helps rebuild Prim as a major stopping point on the Long 15. Though Prim citizens chafe under NCR's taxes, they benefit greatly from the increased protection and merchant traffic. Defying Chief Hanlon's worst fears, NCR's rangers persevered and distinguished themselves during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. The rangers, along with NCR's many troopers, shared the glory of victory. Hanlon wisely stayed out of the spotlight, crediting General Oliver's leadership for NCR's success. After a brief fanfare, Hanlon stepped down as chief and returned to the peace and quiet of his ranch outside of Reading. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. And there we go, people. It finally happened. Fallout New Vegas has come to an end. I gotta say, I'm really gonna miss this series, and I wholeheartedly mean it. After all the time and effort I have put into making this series, trying to really immerse myself into it, I gotta say, I had an absolute blast playing this. Yes, it did have a few issues here and there. Yes, I did get a few things wrong with some of the, the info and all that kind of stuff, and I'm sorry for that, but... I gotta say, I wouldn't trade the series up for anything. What began as a nice little, what was supposed to be a relatively quick series to celebrate the release of Fallout 4, yeah, it spiraled into a three and a half year project that I am surprised took that long. Honestly, I thought I would have this whole thing knocked down in a year. Had the issues not arise throughout the series, it probably would have happened. But, that's part of the journey, to be honest. Hey, you know what? I wouldn't give that up for anything. I love all the new stuff that I have discovered while this, all the dumb stuff that has happened to me throughout this. And I gotta say, it even changed my mind on a couple of things, like how Dead Money was. When I started this series, I was absolutely dreading going into Dead Money. Because I felt like it was the weakest out of all the DLCs, but now going back and playing through it in this series, I gotta say, it actually wasn't half bad. I, I can only say what I feel, and what I feel is that this was a game that took a lot of heart to make. Hell, it was basically had, could have been just a rushed hack job, and just slap the Fallout name on it and just throw it out there, but the developers of this game really took the time to go back through all the Fallout stuff, all from 1, all from 2, a little bit from 3, and I would say maybe a smidge from Tactics. But you can really see the effort and care they put into making this game. It had a very okay-ish main story. Okay, let's be fair, the main story isn't the best in the world. However, the side story that goes on throughout all three of the DLC, all four of the DLC, sorry, it was pretty spectacular, and it more than makes up for the lacking main story in the game of itself. So, yeah, it was a really fun ride to go on. I hope each and every one of you who 
who's watching this also enjoy the series to its fullest. I want to thank each and every one of you who has stuck with me since the beginning, who have just come in at this point in time, or if you were around at certain points throughout this project. Hopefully I did a good enough job for you guys. And that's pretty much it. Honestly, I don't know where the road's going to take me next. I got a few places I want to go visit now that my job in the Mojave is done. But you know what they say, you can't keep the courier spirit down. Wherever it takes me, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of mischief to be made. But for now, I need a well-deserved rest. A big thank you to every single one of you who has been with me and watched this series. I really appreciate all the support that you have given me throughout the years. And until then, I will see you all in the next Let's Play. Later.